So we're gonna take some of the hickory sticks into the shop and do a little quick fix on the grips with some hockey tape. Yeah, just some black hockey tape so it'll look the part. Now we're not gonna wrap the whole grips. We're just gonna wrap where the whipping is because on some of these clubs, like the grip whipping is sliding down and I don't want it to fall off. So I'm gonna show you a quick and effective way to repair a hickory that's still in the spirit of like hand wrapped grips. Let's get into the armory workshop and fix these up. So for starters, I got my approach mashy and my mashy. The only real difference between these two clubs is, and this is like 29, 30 degrees of loft, and this is like, you know, 35, 36, something like that. So that's a mashy, so this would be like an approach mashy. And the, the uh, approach mashy's grip is actually in really good shape. See, someone already did a fix here. So it's just that right there, there's no whipping. So we'll just put a little tape over that. And then on the mashy, the whipping's coming down and loose, which can cause the grips to slide. So if we can't eliminate the slidey grips, we'll just tape over the whole thing. But I wanna preserve as much of this gripping surface as possible. So let's do it. So on the mashy here, see how this whipping's coming loose and then it starts the whole grip sliding. So we're just gonna push that as tight as we can get it. Take this black hockey tape, and I picked a really bad day to cut my nails doing this. Here, give me that pick. And we're just gonna basically use this as the whipping. Mm, I gotta sharpen these scissors. And then you just wrap it really tight around the whipping. Yeah, that part of the grip is popping right up. We're gonna have to tape this whole section. See the tension's causing that to pop up. I'll have to fix that. There we go. So there, no grip slip on the mashie anymore. We had to add a little more. But we're still preserving this. This leather on this grip is actually in good shape. Now we're just gonna touch up the approach mashy here. You can actually see the underside of the grip wrapping. So this doesn't have any whipping. So this actually makes my job easier. There. 
and clean that right up. So now let's go grab the putter because that's got a lot of grip slip. So here is my English style putter. I think the guy said this putter is from 1905. Man, it's actually a really cool putter. And it feels good when you hit a good putt with it. Well, I was blown away just how good this putter felt. Well, you know, you're expecting a brick, but you forget that you know, they look archaic, but these are very well-made, handmade items. But it basically works just like any one of those, uh, you know, uh, like compact mallet putters. Well, I'm up there showing people how to repair hickory clubs, and then all you hear is like, are you up there? <laughs> fucking cranking it <laughs> yeah I'm living with this guy again he moved back into me till I move out of here because I'm moving to Icon Bay so this guy's gonna help me move so yeah this one's got a lot of grip slip so we'll just can pack that and then the whipping's falling down and Uh, right, same dealy. Be careful when you let the tape fall. That hit the shaft. That would be. Ooh. Put a little bit at the top too. Yeah, it's still twisting. We're just gonna have to wrap this whole club. So unfortunately, we can't save the OG grip. But it's just hockey tape, so at the end of the day, this is undoable if we ever want to get a proper suede grip or leather grip on the clubs, because reproductions do exist. But uh, in these crazy times, getting a hold of things is a bugger, really. At Brightwood, for example, we're just, we can finally sit on the patio and have a beer again. Ugh. Crazy, crazy. And there you go. Grip slip eliminated. I might end up doing this eventually.
to all of them, but I want to keep the original gripping surface. But this is still in the spirit of the old school fix. And yeah, that black hockey tape actually, you know, looks really fitting. There you go. Any other clubs that need to be fixed? Let's check them. So here's my mid iron and it's not looking too bad. It looks like somebody already did a repair or something that came off. So we'll just put a few pieces over that. And then we got my rip stick. I actually checked the degrees on this and it's about, you know, 14, 15, 16 in that range. So I believe this is a brassy, not a driver per se. So I believe we hit this off the deck. I'm gonna try it. But this is probably one of the better grips for play. It's so the same deal. We'll just touch up what's loose. So we'll do the brassy first. Oop. So that's good that we just have to touch these up. There we go. Just tighten up and brassy. And we'll do the same with the mid iron. I think you get the stick of this by now. There we go. Like I said, I want to preserve, if possible, the original gripping sur surface for as long as possible. But eventually I'll probably just end up wrapping these. Yeah, we might just end up doing the whole bit of the jigger, but right up around here, just to get a better grip on it. Some of this leather isn't quite too bad. We'll just cover the rough spots and go from there. There we go. Covered up the rough patches. Eventually I'll just probably end up wrapping this, but I want to get the leather grip feel for as long as I can. Yeah, I might just end up doing this one completely in the long run. All right, so I got a big update for the hickory set. I just found a good deal on eBay for a mashy niblick and a niblick. So that will basically fill the gap after the mashy. I think the mashy niblick is 39 degrees, 40 degrees, something like that, according to the seller. 
And then I think the niblick is like 50, 51 degrees. So it's basically, I believe, close to my modern 8 iron. And then the niblick is basically a gap wedge. So I'll have those clubs for the higher flight at shots, like near, you know. But I can pretty much use the mashie as a utility for now. And when I get the niblick, anything played for official Society of Hickory Golfers handicap once I join the Society of Hickory Golfers, because I plan on doing that, any score posted this faux hickory sand wedge will be removed because the guy only wanted 15 for that because it's faux hickory. Still got the waffle iron face, though. But I'm just holding on to this till I can get a proper 56 degree uh, niblick from Louisville Golf. Because I'm either going to get that first, so then I have a nice uh, complete hickory set, or I'm going to get a spoon wood, like a 20, 21 degree. Uh, basically fairway wood, second off the tee club. Because the two iron in this set is like 24 degrees, so it's basically a four iron. I think the four iron I play with is, around, is 25. And some modern ones I got lying around are like 23. But yeah, keep an eye out for that. I'll definitely do a hickory what's in the bag and explain more. When I get the uh, niblick and the mashy niblick. So stay tuned till then. New Scott out.